Libius LT Overton made headlines today when he decided to reclassify to the 2022 recruiting class. Overton was the first five-star rated recruit in the 2023 recruiting class, earning the ranking back in March. LT Overton is from Alpharetta, Georgia, where he would start playing high school football in eighth grade. Overton started his high school career at Bessemer Academy in Alabama, where as a freshman he had 105 tackles, 42 tackles for a loss, 19 sacks, one forced fumble, two fumble recoveries, and one fumble return for a touchdown. After his freshman year, his family moved to Alpharetta, Georgia, where LT played against tougher competition, attending Milton High School. Overton spoke on the move, telling Steve Wiltfong, coming from a small school in Alabama, everybody doubted me coming from a small division to the biggest division in Georgia. It was a blessing the way I'm coached at Milton and being taught new different things throughout the season. As a sophomore, he played defensive end, defensive tackle, and tight end, helping Milton finish 11-1, making it to the Georgia 7A state quarterfinals. Finished the year with 70 tackles, 38 tackles for a loss, 21 and a half sacks, and six forced fumbles, being named a Max Prep All-American. This past season, LT played through multiple injuries and was less than 100% for most of the year, but still had 54 tackles, 16 and a half tackles for a loss, 7 and a half sacks, 6 pass breakups, and 1 forced fumble, helping Milton go 13 and 2, losing to Colin Hill in the state championship game. LT is not only an elite football player, he is also an elite student, having a 4.0 GPA, and will have enough credit to graduate in May. His father is the athletic director for Kennesaw State and a former Oklahoma football player, while his mother is a former Kentucky volleyball player and has experience working as a college counselor. His brother is also a football player at Liberty. He spoke on the decision to reclassify, telling WXIA-TV, starting to play high school in 8th grade, I already have 4 years of experience. So just graduating to the next level earlier, I believe will help me on my path just grinding it out in college earlier than expected. Both parents are supportive of his decision, and he believes he will excel academically in college as well. Hey you! Yeah, you! Do you think LT Overton will be a future superstar in college? Let me know in the comments section below. If you're enjoying this video, make sure to leave a like, a comment, and subscribe to the channel. I would really appreciate it because it really helps the video in the algorithm. Before he reclassified, LT Overton was a 5-star recruit who was the best defensive lineman in his class, best player in Georgia, and third best player nationally from the 2023 recruiting cycle. He received over 27 different Division I offers, likes of Alabama, Clemson, Georgia, Florida, and Texas A&M. Along with announcing his decision to reclassify, he announced his five finalist schools, Georgia, Ohio State, Oklahoma, Oregon, and Texas A&M. He told 24-7 Sports, I really based them all off the relationship I have with each program, and I felt those were the best programs for me. He went on to discuss the relationship with each of those five schools in alphabetical order, saying, Coach Smart has been one of my top guys since day one. Just love being around him and the atmosphere down there too. The relationship I built with Coach Johnson and talking to Coach Day, you could tell they know what they're doing. When Coach Venables got to Oklahoma, you could tell they're trying to switch the program to more of a defensive one. He played a main role in being in my top five. Before Coach Lanning got to Oregon, they were not even in my top 12, but I have that type of relationship with Coach Lanning, him being a down to earth cool guy. I think he'll change the program and is somewhere I'd like to be. And closing out speaking on Texas A&M saying, The relationship I have with the coaches and how beautiful the campus is. Overton has been to Athens several times, College Station three times, and Norman twice as a recruit. He also made it up to Columbus during the summer, and each school is expected to get an official visit. As of now though, Texas A&M is viewed as having the most momentum. He also received multiple Division I offers for basketball from schools like Ohio State and North Carolina as well. According to Gabe Brooks from 24-7 Sports, LT Overton is projected to be a future first round pick with comparison to Solomon Thomas. He has all the tools to be a special player and plans to enroll in school after he graduates in May. I'm excited to see where he ends up and I think he can be a special player at the next level. But what do you think? Where will LT Overton play college football? Let me know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, maybe check out my videos on Shamar Stewart and Oklahoma's recruiting class right here. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel, and as always, remember to embrace the grind.